Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are making another video in the miscellaneous series. In this video, I am going to talk about low range force. Low range force is important and we frequently use this in many research problems. I have been requested many times to make a video on low range force. I thought of making multiple videos on low range force and this is the first video out of all the videos. So in the first video, I would like to make the concept clear. In this video, you will learn how exactly the low range force is to be incorporated, which physics is to be taken and what are the equations working behind them. So this is a problem where the low range force is applicable. I have taken this problem from the application library. I thought of taking a real life problem where low range force is necessary. So this is a speaker if you just go through my another video that I have made on loudspeaker you will make the clear more concept. So how a loudspeaker works. Basically in a loudspeaker there is a membrane which vibrates and that generates sounds. It vibrates at different frequencies and that different frequencies appear from different forces and those forces are nothing but the low range force. So in a low range force there are two components one is your electric field component or the current or the current flux whatever you say and the other is the magnetic field. If you change any one of the or any one of them then the force will vary and that force may change the frequency and this is the logic behind the loudspeaker. So this problem is a real life problem. So they have taken magnetic field in order to solve this particular problem. So again I am telling I will be putting the link on the video which I have prepared on this loudspeaker and if you go through that video along with this then it will help you. So in the magnetic field if we see the equation the equation we solve is this is for magnetic field and the current. So why the current is there in a magnetic field equation? Because we know that magnetic and electric fields are interlinked. So whenever there is a magnetic field, there are magnetic force of lines. And if you, if you, if you draw a particular conductor into this magnetic force of lines with an acceleration or deceleration, then there will be induced current. So whenever there is a magnetic field, the current induced may be associated with that and you need to estimate that particular current density and that is why there is a couple equations of current electric field and magnetic field in this case. So I will be making a video on this equations how exactly Ampere's law magnetic basic law of magnetic field and electric field is related and that will make the concept more clear. So here you can see those are the equations we are solving. We have a part Ampere's law here and the Ampere law taking care of the current density and here current density is taken as the conductivity multiplied by the electric field. So again there might be an associated electric field and the current density would be proportional to that electric field. So ultimately this magnetic field which we are solving it will lead to certain force and that force is taken as a multi physics coupling option. So if you are working with magnetic field you will have the liberty to take this low range force from the multi physics option. So this is the low range force if I go to the, uh, the, uh, the setting window you can see this low range force has two part one is the magnetic field part and other is the solid mechanics. So what happens here because they are solving with the solid mechanics so this particular force will be take will be added in the solid mechanics and that will be the input for the motion of the membrane but for your case it could be different uh, if they have given the equation we can see the equation otherwise I will just tell you uh, the Lorentz force is calculated from the vector some vector multiplication of the current density and the magnetic field. So you can also decouple this particular equation and take out the components in different directions say 
x direction, y direction and z direction. So when this part, when this concept is necessary, suppose you have a uniform magnetic field. So if you have a uniform magnetic field, then you don't need to solve for this magnetic field equation because this is useless because you already know what is the magnetic field. So then your current may appear from an external electric field in a conducting coil or something. So if you have an estimation of the current going along different direction, then you can actually calculate the component wise low range forces and that forces you can put as a body force if you are solving for say fluid flow due to the low range force. So I'll be making another video on this particular topic so that the concept becomes more clear. So today I am stopping here. If you are if the if the videos are helpful, I will request you to subscribe to my channel and share the videos with your peers.